Welcome back to another stand-up featuring the more Requiem side of things. What I mean is that there's fan-made stands, Requiems, and soon to be even more than that. Thank you guys so much for the King Crimson Requiem art. Every time you guys send an art, it literally blows me away more than the last time you guys did it. Now, how these goes is that I go over the character, the stand, the character's history, and then I see how exactly would the Requiem version of the stand would work. Star Platinum, the stand of Jotaro Kujo. Star Platinum is the stand, the stand of all stands, and the one that everyone would fear and would hope to never go against. Now originally, Star Platinum was just sheer power, speed, and precision. He was a stand to be feared just because of how much of a powerhouse he was. Now that was in part 3, Stardust Crusaders. In the end of Stardust Crusaders, we find out that Star Platinum had the shared ability as the world. He developed the ability of stopping time somehow. Just off of seeing Dio do it apparently, but apparently he's been able to do it this whole time, he just never tried doing it until Dio had shown an example. That ladies and gentlemen is known as an ass bull, just like how Jotaro developed the ability of flying out of nowhere when we've never seen him do it before. Star Platinum becomes Star Platinum the world at the end, but it's not called Star Platinum the world until part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable. Star Platinum stats end off part 3 with being A's on everything besides range, with range being a C. Once entered into part 4, he retained the same stats as he did. His time stop ability was reduced to 2 seconds from 5 seconds. Either because of Jotaro was getting older, or because of plot. But at the same time, stopping time does tax Jotaro's stamina. Going into part 6, that's where Star Platinum had bounced back and forth. His durability drops all the way from A to E, but he gets his time stop ability back to normal by being able to stop time for 5 seconds again. So what exactly would Star Platinum's ability be if he was pierced by the Requiem Arrow? I was debating on how this would work exactly and how it would correlate to what Jotaro most desires. The main thing about Jotaro through all the best moments involved protecting his loved ones. In part 3, he wanted to protect his mom and the Stardust Crusaders. In part 4, he wanted to protect Josuke and the Morio Warriors and Morio in general. In part 6, he wanted to protect his daughter and, well, the world and universe at this point, but he's kind of already been trying to protect the world and the universe at this point, but it was mostly just the world because Dio's reach was so small, but then it became so big, aside from that. But it all involves protecting his own and generally to protect the world from all these evils at this point. More on protecting his own, but being the justice that destroys all the evils. Not directly by protecting the world, but being the judgment to do so. Jotaro can be the savior to the world, but the thing with him is that he still needs more power. Not power as in strength of his stand, but power as in more stamina and more power to his abilities. I'm sure Jotaro knows the full capabilities of his stand and himself, especially with how old Jotaro gets. It would be great if somehow he could extend his reach from what he was then to what he wants to be. Somehow if he could strengthen himself in every situation of what's around him. And I wanted to build off of the fact of the name Star Platinum, the world. I understand that the world was meant to be the tarot card, but when Dio had the stand, it was because he was number one in the world, not just because of the name. He wanted to be the one above all, the one in the world. That's where I thought Dio and Jotaro had contrasted. Dio wanted to be the one above the world and even quote unquote heaven. I feel that Jotaro isn't the one to do that, in instead of being one with the world. That was the main key when I was speculating for what the ability would be for Star Platinum Requiem. So now when he says Star Platinum the world, it's gonna mean more than just that. I don't have a straight name for this ability, but I'm gonna give an explanation. There's a 15 meter radius around Jotaro now, 15 meters that he has access to. He has the ability to absorb energy from everything around him to buff himself. And along with that, he absorbs properties and can even absorb abilities from other stand users if they're within range. So for example, say that it's Star Platinum Requiem versus Made in Heaven. So say that within range, since they're really made to be that close, there's Jolene, Ansui, Emporio, and Pucci. Jotaro can absorb the environment around him and the stands without draining all of the stamina or health from all of those things, people, or stands. Absorbing Pucci lets him control the time acceleration, pushing it backwards while Pucci moves it forward, leaving it at a neutral where Jotaro will exceed. Now he has the abilities of Stone Free, Diver Down, and Burning Down the House after absorbing. Now along with that, he can use the energy of the environment to boost everything besides range. With whatever is moving fast like the wind or tide from the time acceleration, Jotaro would be able to match the speed of those things. Now that's the key of it all. Not being one above the world, but letting the world make you into one, or be one 
with the world, at least one of those two. Instead of letters for the stats, I'm gonna have it as plus symbols. Star Platinum can constantly absorb without cooldown, so that means he'd always be shifting up his stats. All of his stats can now ascend past the limit of the stand chart and can vary anywhere to where he's at. He can also stop time for a longer amount if he absorbs and holds the power instead of uses it for something else. Meaning if he absorbed all of the energy around him and didn't use it, then the energy would be added onto his time stopping ability which would cause it to extend. I thought for his appearance he would have glowing blue circles on his palms and the circles would be able to spin and the circles are actually globes like the glass globes that you see except they're not like breakable like glass but they're like see-through material but they're clear light glass but you know what I mean. But the rest is up to anyone who wants to draw Star Platinum Requiem. If you do the art, tweet it to me to be featured in the next stand up. This type of stand up, not the fan made stands one. So if you guys want to do, if you guys want to submit fan made stands, you go over that to that video and there's basically a whole format on how to do so. I hope you guys enjoyed the speculation and thank you for watching. I'm Caleb Ae. Peace out and Godspeed.